Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. We're here at the new boat and today we have a little special item here that everyone who has a cabin cruiser should have in their possession. Stay tuned and here we go. All right, so here we go. This little item here is gonna save you from a lot of grief because when you go out on your boat, especially for a cabin cruiser, depending on the depth that you have, um, you have to be careful with shallows, especially here in the Florida Keys. It's shallow everywhere. So you wanna know when it's low tide. You'll know you'll have a problem if it's low tide. If you see brown, you can run aground. But this little item right here is a tide clock. This little thing right here it's gonna save you from a lot of headaches because every time you look at that needle there, it tells you whether you're in low tide, high tide, going up or going down. And you know how much time you have before it goes down or up. This is one essential little item you should have on your boat. But the main thing to keep it working properly is always change the batteries. It has a battery in the back here, right there. And they last a long time, the last one, I last almost a year in my, my old boat. But I bought this new one for the new boat. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install this here at the Janu 795. All right. As you already know, on the top here, between the vents, we have this plexiglass here in the center. So what we're going to do is put the tide clock right in the middle there. And that uh, we're gonna go ahead and install back up there again. So that way the tie clock is gonna be right there in the middle. So that way when we're sitting in the helm, we could easily look at it and see if it's high tide or low tide. So we're gonna go ahead and install it on the plexi. So I'm gonna position it, make little markings, and then I'm gonna drill little tiny holes to fit these little tiny screws that comes with it. Okay, so we got uh, one of the screws here. We put it in there so we can make a little mark. And you can see the mark right there. I already made the holes for the other two. And now we're going to make the hole for the last one, which is that little mark right there. And that way we can put the last screw and put all three of them and then reinstall it back up there again. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the screws in place. Put the top one here first. The top one lines everything up. All right, so before we put it back up there again. I'm going to clean all the fingerprints on the back side. Uh, the front side we can clean after it's up, but uh, this back side here, clean all the fingerprints so you won't see through it and see all your fingerprints there. And uh, when you try to clean it off, it's going to be on the other side. You're going to have to retake it all apart again. So we're cleaning all the fingerprints from the back side. What these little things are is a screw with a little grommet. The grommet has threads on the edge and then on that thread you put these little caps make it look nice and finished. So now we just have to put the screw in the little cap first, the grommet. Right, we're down to the last one. Now I'll just double check. That one's good. 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 Everything's in place. Okay, now we're gonna put 
the little caps and what it is is just line them up and screw it on and it covers the head of the screw so it looks much better much more finished done clean and here we go right now it says that uh, it's a little bit less than one hour to low tide and what I do is I double check that against the app and make sure it's on exactly where it's supposed to be so what I do is I check it every several weeks make sure it's on par with the app and that's it we just cleaned everything else everything else looks good and we're ready to hit that water soon again hopefully when the weather gets better all right guys we're all done installing the um, tide clock and I I'll tell you this I've owned one for many years on my old boat and uh, I can't be without it because every time I go out on the boat as long as you check it every several weeks make sure it's on on, on time you never have a problem and it's all easy that when you come to the boat and you come into the cabin here and you look at that clock you will know immediately what you have whether it's going down how long if it's going up how long and everything you need to know to the detail of how soon that low tide is going to be a problem so that's why i always have one and i recommend everybody to have one besides they look really awesome inside the cabin uh, they have that purpose where it's going to help you from a headache uh, But just looking at it, you'll know how far the uh, Low tide is going to be at if you like this video Don't forget to slash the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet Click that bottom down there and subscribe and we'll appreciate your You being with us and watching all our videos. So thank you so much for watching this video and We'll see you on the next one. Peace from the keys.